I'm Jackson Pierce, and today's video is about Wesley Scroggins. Again, I cannot believe that I have two videos on my channel about Wesley Scroggins. So Wesley Scroggins is this guy who lives in Missouri. He complained to the school board because some books in the school's library contradicted the lessons taught in the Bible. The three specific books he found to be Bible contradictory were Speak by Larry House Anderson, Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut, and Twenty Boy Summer by Sarah Oakler. On Monday, after a year of debate and discussion and task force forming, the school board voted. They decided Speak could stay, but that Twenty Boy Summer and Slaughterhouse Five had to go. Now, I am actually not really mad at Wesley Scroggins. He's just some dude. Some crazy guy who thinks he knows best what everybody needs. If we all had a dollar for every lunatic in the world who thought they knew what everybody else needed, we would all be like on yachts right now. There are thousands more where he came from, but luckily we have institutions like school boards in place to weed out that brand of crazy. Or that is what they're supposed to do, anyway. Instead, the Republic School Board yelled how high when Scroggins yelled jump. So I am really mad and really disappointed in the Republic School Board. I think they've done their students an incredible disservice, and so I have some questions for them I'd like to share. Question one, Mr. Scroggins' primary concern was that some books taught a lesson contradictory to the lessons taught in the Bible. Now, putting aside the fact that religious texts are not supposed to dictate anything in a public school, is the Bible now the standard to which we hold all books? If a book contradicts the Bible, does that mean it automatically is potentially unworthy and there's going to have to be a task force and discussions and meetings to decide if it belongs in the school? So I imagine, Republic School Board, you'll be discussing Diary of Anne Frank sometime soon. And Dante's Inferno, surely you're going to spend some time and tax dollars on that as well. Question number two. In the article that I've put somewhere below me, the school superintendent, Mr. Vern Miner, says that they looked at these books from a curriculum point of view. So Mr. Miner, all books in your library now, they are 100% about the curriculum, not about reading for pleasure. Because I imagine that means that all books not specifically taught in the classroom are going to be removed from your library. Question 2A. Is the school system's policy now to promote reading the same way it promotes homework? You know, as something that must be done you know, as something that must be done for the curriculum, as opposed to something that can be done for enjoyment and fulfillment outside the classroom. Question three, the school board created a task force to develop book standards for all schools in the system. I don't know how many students were on the task force. I did not get the impression there were any. When you were in high school, school board, did you want adults and like guidance counselors and teachers selecting your clothes and your hair and your shoes for you? Probably not. And if they had selected all of those things for you, you probably would have detested their choices no matter how good they were. Apply that logic to books, please, and then, you know, get back with me. Question number four. Mr. Miner, you say that you kept this removal of books away from moral issues, yet the very reason you removed them was moral issues. Twenty Boy Summer contained questionable language, lying to parents. Those are moral issues. So the school system is now dictating the morality of all students? And that aside, aren't those moral issues that teens deal with? Aren't they moral issues that adults deal with? Do you really think that removing those books will therefore remove the issues? Question 4A, are you kidding me? And question number 5, this question is both for Mr. Scroggins and for the school board. You say that 20 Boy Summer was removed due to drunkenness, lying to parents, sexual promiscuity, and lack of remorse, and that Slaughterhouse Five was removed for adult themes. But the Bible actually has all that stuff in it too, so I assume that's out as well, Mr. Scroggins. If that's the kind of stuff we don't want our kids getting their hands on, then, then you know, it's got to be out too. It's only fair. These are just some questions that I have because I'm really disappointed in the school board. You're supposed to be defending these students against that kind of crazy and helping them and fostering a love for learning and reading, and instead you're totally scrogginsing them. I do not understand why people still think that taking books out of the hands of teenagers is ever a good decision. So yeah, and this video was kind of a downer, so we're going to end it with footage I took of the Westies this weekend while I was staying with my parents. They're good times. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow.